How's it going? Hello. Welcome to my channel. Welcome. All right, let's let's get into this. So, um, welcome to me figuring out how to make a YouTube channel and music and everything else that I'm doing. Uh, eventually, I'm gonna nail it. But yeah, welcome to this. <laughs> I'm very excited about this. I've been working on this specific the first video there's like three takes that all uh had uh, uh recording errors and other things so i'm super happy to finally be here and i'm super confident that i'm gonna nail this one because i've adjusted my audio and video settings and all that stuff so nothing should happen hopefully um that being said welcome i'm excited to have you here um, so this is my first video. This is going to be me explaining what this channel is for and why I'm making it. So, um, first of all, channel title is Evil Brass. Um, so if you're here for Evil Brass, um, you're kind of in the right place. Eventually you'll be in the right place. Not right now. Um, the reason it's called that, that's my company. So I make music, uh, regularly. If you don't know that, those of you who know me, I don't know why you don't know that. I, I'm very upfront about it, but I make music, and there's links that I'll have in the description to what I do and all that stuff, but uh, go check that stuff out, because I'm really proud of that, and I'm going to keep getting better. I have new mics and um, all kinds of stuff that I'm excited to be able to uh, use for you guys so that you're getting a good musical experience and that's that's just gonna keep going uphill um, and I I know that that is gonna keep improving because that's what I'm dedicated to so why why call it evil brass evil brass is my company so um, I named it that because of, of a discussion with my brother um, we were in the car and I was like you know I really just like like really evil brass sounds and so uh i don't i think it was him that was like that's a good like band name and i was like oh 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 <laughs> so yeah um i'm really excited to be on this youtube channel so why that so this is named the same as my music um, outlets because I I look at that more as my musical company so um, what I plan on doing with myself for most of the rest of time I figure um, is making music in some way or contributing to music in some way that's why I work at uh, where I work and that's why I, I teach lessons I I'm not just about music for me, it's, it's any, any way I can improve musical um, abilities for everybody. So, so that's kind of what I'm here for. So this channel um, is going to be a separate thing from my music. Um, and what I plan to do with this channel is discuss how music is used in media and, uh, you know, movies and video games and all kinds of different stuff. Um, and maybe if I get there, I'll eventually talk about just music outright, but because of all the copyright laws and things like that, it's a little harder to do that right now. Okay, so more on what I want to do in this channel. Like I said, uh, media and video games and movies and those types of things, I want to be able to talk about how their music is uh, vital to the story. Uh, I think there's a lot of games and movies that do this really, really well. 
I think there's a lot of other media like shows and things like that that I'm really excited to talk about. Um, I have, uh, if you don't know, I have a master's in trombone performance. That doesn't mean I know what I'm talking about, but it, it means I can pretend to. <laughs> um, so, so I'm excited to, to talk about all this stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun. My um, background with why I'm talking about film score all of a sudden and those types of things when I've never taken a class on film score, I don't think it matters. I, I like talking about it. It's fun. And um, while I'm not creating my own epic film scores and not analyzing every little detail of everything I listen to, I like to pay attention when something does something really well and it's very well presented. So, so Undertale with my brother, what is that? Let's, uh, what is that going to look like? We're doing it in a Let's Play format where the focus is on the music and how we're doing that. My brother Ricky has not played Undertale. So what's good about it is even though this is going to be a musically um, based uh, YouTube channel, the content is not just going to exclusively be music. It'll be pri uh, that'll be the priority of the channel. But otherwise, that's not the only thing we're doing with this channel. So, um, so with Undertale, he's going to be playing it so that all of y'all that have experienced it, you know why I'm playing it with a newcomer. He's never played the game. It's going to be super fun. Um, but for those of you who don't, um, you'll be kind of experiencing it alongside him, which will also kind of help. In the meantime, I've played through the game um, plenty of times, and there's a lot of great musical ideas in the, in the game um, that help move the story along in really incredible ways. Um, and we've only filmed the first part, and I've gotten to a few things, but oh, I cannot wait um, to get further in the game and be able to talk about how these motives that have been, have been used come back later. All that stuff, it's so good. Um, some other projects I have going. Um, so Undertale, Ruby is going to be the other big one that I'm really excited to talk about for similar reasons. Um, the, that show is excellent at using the music to foreshadow or um, to, to foreshadow what's going to happen or to build on characters in the show. There are songs with the characters' names in them that kind of give you a look into their personality and all that stuff. So yeah, it's, it's very exciting. Um, I'm really, really happy to be doing that. Um, anyway, so some other shows and movies that I want to be covering um, and video games. Um, Undertale I've got covered. Ruby um, I really want to talk about for the same reasons as Undertale. Um, Undertale utilizes those motives to create character development and um, and to make you feel a sense of familiarity um, make make things seem familiar to you or elicit a similar emotion to earlier in the game um, so it's really great for that um, Ruby does a lot of similar things the main thing that Ruby does that I really attach to um, is Ruby does this thing where the um, the it, it develops characters by writing songs about the actual characters that are meant to make you feel a certain way about their personalities and things like that. There's these really great things that the, the show does that actually kind of foreshadow what happens or what's going to happen. And I can, I can talk about that in future videos, but I'm so excited. Um, the other two big ones that I'm super excited about. Um, Steven Universe, I plan on doing at some point. That one I might run into more copyright issues, so we'll see. 
Um, so I really want to cover Final Fantasy VII. Um, Final Fantasy VII, compared to the other Final Fantasy games, has a bigger place in my in my life for both video game purposes. And the music in the game is, especially for its time, just an incredible thing. There's so many cool things that that game does. Um, and I think uh, with all Final Fantasy games, everybody remembers the victory... Um, the, the victory theme and that one that one definitely does it well with um, having the stupid iconic Final Fantasy victory theme and then a lot of other stuff but anyway I'll get into that when I cover those games there's other things I want to cover with uh, video games and shows and movies and I would love to get all of your opinions on that I really, really do, uh, as I'm building the channel at least, want to know what you guys want to see covered. Because um, there's plenty of stuff out there that I'm sure I don't know about yet. There's stuff um, I, I have loose ideas of covering, but honestly, I would rather someone send me something and I get to experience it and, and see, okay, this is less of... I'd like to have more knowledge about what kind of musical games are out there so I know what to cover. Um, and th that goes for movies and shows as well because um, I have some other ideas about what I want to cover with those things. But any, any, anything you can contribute to helping me find some different content to make for you guys and to talk about is really exciting for me. Um, so, yeah very excited about all those projects um that's going to be the main part of this channel um some other ideas i have for this channel are going to be um first of all uh music videos i will be making music videos on this channel probably very far off from now it's gonna happen i just don't know when i'm not a talented animator yet i have to figure out either how to draw or be able to pay someone it's probably going to be the latter um even though i could teach myself to draw it's going to take some time and um it, all i need for the second option is just your support for knowing that that's what i want to do um, you might be thinking, um, why do you want to animate your music videos instead of, you know, make them? Um, first of all, um, I, my face is fine, but like, no, <laughs> I'd rather, I'd rather make the music, um, match kind of the vision I have in my head for those pieces. Um, especially I have one in mind right now that was based on a, um, I, I had a really interesting dream. Um, and so the, the music was written based on that and then everything around it, I kind of wrote with, uh, supplements to what was happening in that dream. So it's definitely a visual thing for me that I have an idea of what I want it to look like in my head already. Um, so that one's going to happen. I just don't know when. I don't know how much animation is going to cost or how long it's going to take to learn it. So, um, But any support you can have or you can help me out with, I have stuff um, in the descriptions below for what that's going to look like. Um, some other things I want to talk about. Um, what other projects I want to do with this channel. Um, I've been thinking about this a lot because I've been thinking about this a lot because I started it for the purpose of just, you know, um, having that opportunity to talk about video games and shows and things that I love that use their music well. Um, so I'm happy to have that moment or that that I'm happy to have that opportunity to make videos on that stuff that being said 
there's only so much of that I can do before I get bored and before you get bored. So um, some other things I'm thinking about doing in the future would be to maybe make some podcast type material um, where I bring on some guests that are more talented than me um, in their respective focuses and interests um, and talk about those things with them. So if, uh, if any of you uh, out there watching this are interested in a certain topic and want to discuss these things with me, um, come right on, come on the, ch uh, the channel, come talk to me, um, or you, you know, shoot me a message if you know me and we'll talk about what we can do with that stuff. Um, other things I know I'm probably going to cover in the future would be, um, I have a great love for, uh, I have a great love for Sweeney Todd. So, uh, that's kind of an ambitious goal for me right now though, cause there could be way too much for me to talk about. And I'm not, uh, I'm not talented enough to analyze that yet. <laughs> I I have some basic stuff that I could be like, oh yeah, cool, but the all the all the crazy like uh, motives they do that get inverted and all that stuff, I'm not that talented yet. That would take me a long time. So that might be another future project, but I'm sure that's gonna happen at some point. Just knowing me, so. Um, let me know what else you guys would like to hear me talk about. I go on a lot of really odd rants about myself as a person, and I like that about myself, that when, when I get invested in something, it just snaps, and I'm like, no, wait, I have to talk about this. So um, if, if any of you guys have heard me talk about certain music a certain way and you'd like to see content based on that please please comment below i know comments are dumb but i really do at least want to start getting my ideas going based on help from you guys so um last couple things um the this channel um, is named Evil Brass, like I said, because it's what my music company is called. But along those lines, I would like this channel to be a community of people. Last thing I want to talk about, um, uh, back on the topic of why this channel is called Evil Brass. So my music company, Evil Brass, is called that because at some point, I would like that m the music that I make to be a collaborative effort. Um, I've already done projects with um, Connor Reichenbach. He wrote a piece a while ago and I recorded that. Um, and I plan on doing more of that in the future and hiring performers and things like that. Um, with this channel in mind, um, at some point I would like to make this also part of that kind of community. So if you would like to get involved with me on these projects and you have some ideas about you, what you'd like to make for YouTube content, I'd love to hear them and I'd love to work with you and talk about what we can do together. So um, on top of it being something where I'm willing to do projects with outside people, um, if you're like, hey, I would commit to this and you want to talk with me about this stuff, cool, let me know. Um, I'd be happy to hear you out and see what we can do together and things like that. So very excited. Um, and with that in mind, my crazy brain is probably done. Um, I'm happy to have this platform. I'm super excited for all these projects to actually be coming out uh, this I'm almost sure is the final recording I'm very exhausted from how many times I've had to do this and things go wrong and they're still going wrong apparently but less wrong so you know that's a win <laughs> um, so yeah uh, thanks for watching you guys um, welcome to my my weird 
everything about me YouTube channel I, I like everything about me is weird and I'm gonna keep doing that so thanks for watching and uh, hope to hear from you guys soon later I guess I don't like that outro we're gonna fix that by the next one <laughs> All right, later, guys.